All right, guys, we're here at Hit Labs, Palmetto, Florida, and here I have my competition. Yes. Probably, I, well, I want to whoop them. <clears throat> yeah, so I was a small town Iowa kid. Um, got a shot to play uh, in high school and then just was, wasn't developed very much. Um, so went to college, got a chance to play at a small D2 school called Morningside College in Sioux City, Iowa. And, and just tried to keep getting better and, and finally uh, grew into my body a little bit. Then got a chance to, uh, to get drafted. The Pirates drafted me uh, in 1997. Got a chance to come to Bradenton here and get to meet some folks. And then um, after three years with them, got a chance to go to the big leagues with the Padres, San Diego. And I got to play with guys like Tony Gwynn and Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famers, dudes that showed me what it what it, what it would take to stay in the big leagues and what it took for them to stay in the big leagues. And so it was pretty, a pretty cool experience. I ended up having a couple of injuries uh, a few years later and ended up taking me out of the game. But now I get to share a love and desire. If you have it, man, never give up on it. Because if, if a small town little Iowa kid can make it to the big leagues, dude, anybody can make it if you want to work hard and, and give your best effort all the time. Um, now, since I'm out of baseball, have connected in with other good people. My business partner, Ryan Willis, and I have said, how do we continue to up the culture, the value of what, what baseball is doing in the game in our amateur level? And we said, let's start up some, some cool opportunities to help them learn and grow and teach. And so we started this facility, started some travel teams. Um, so we do lessons, we do camps. Um, but mainly this facility is here for our travel team members. So they get full access to this place to work out, to come and compete with our, our practices. But uh, also if they want to on the weekends, just to come and hit and do some extra stuff with their dad or their brother or whatever. Um, but we're, we're excited, we're, we're constantly seeing what's next and how can we continue to grow this awesome game of baseball. Yeah, there's a lot of good space. We can do agilities, we do strength training, we, we train the whole body to move and move better. Uh, we, we just, but ultimately too, it comes down to, are you a grinder, are you a baller, are you able to do whatever you can do to, to help win on that field, help your team, you know, win. And, and so it's all about just getting that little bit better every single rep we take, so. But we gotta have fun doing it too, right? Yep. Yeah, man, let's, so this is our kind of hangout area. This is where the parents st sit and chill and hopefully don't complain too much, right? We want them happy and, and laughing. Um, but this is our training area. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, squat racks and not crazy heavy weight, but it's a lot of good weight that we can actually train agility wise too, but good strength and conditioning aspects from arm care to leg care to hip care. Um, we can't, we, we've created some arm care wall, and we, as you see, we've labeled it gas station. We utilize different apparatuses. We, we've got aqua bags and medicine balls, and we'll do plyo balls. It's just to have a goal to compete. It's not just about hitting, as much as we want to make it just about hitting a lot. And we'll do jump training, we'll do some plyometrics, and we'll do some uh, T-stations. We do variability stuff where we're standing on a BOSU ball or we're standing on some irregular positions and we still have to figure out how to square the ball up. It's a challenge, it's a goal, right? But ultimately it's about barrels with hitting wise. It's like, how do I square that thing up? Um, we'll also do some pitching here. We'll do some uh, live bullpen, not live, but just regular bullpens. And, uh, but there's always activities going on in here as well as in the cages. And so we, we really try to utilize this space when we do practices. So come on over. So we actually then, we have two hit track systems and then a bat around system as well, which is really neat. This hit track system allows us to play at different fields. It tracks some of the numbers that when you swing and when you play, it brings awareness to where you're at. If I was in another cage, I couldn't tell how far that went. And that actually shows you how far that ball would have gone if you were on a field. So it gives us some instant feedback. Uh, but then there's super cool aspects too of like tournaments. Instead of going to your perfect game or U U Trip SA, we'll have tournaments in here. It's super fun. Come, come on in, I'll actually show you even some of the other things in these cages. So we have a ton of variety of different bats. Um, but we'll just, we'll do different variety of drills with that kind of stuff and get the body moving. And um, But then we utilize other other machines. And as, as you can see, there's multiple machines in these cages and that's on purpose because we want to have different heights. We want to have different distances. Once kids get comfortable on one, one height and one speed, now we got to start changing it up because we got to keep pushing their, their ceiling, right? If you're pretty good here, okay, how do we challenge that? Well, we got to make it a little harder. Get out of the comfort zone. Get, dude, you know it, you know it. I love it. it. It builds confidence, it builds ownership in how you do it because the coach can't be there all the time. We have some softball teams that come in there and hit and they take oh. the exact same approach no matter where you're at. 
starting level or wherever you're at currently, it's like, how are we pushing you to get a little bit better? So you got, you got pro guys, you got college kids, you got high school kids, and you got the amateur kids. And it's like, oh, I wish I could be like that someday. Yeah, man, this is kind of like your backyard neighborhood, let's go compete with your buddies type setup. And we, we want to create that culture, that feel of um, competition constantly, but also the feel of, hey man, let's have fun. Let's learn together, let's support each other because I might need you to pick me up someday because I might not be hitting that great. So I need you to hit good too <laughs> and vice versa too, right? That's, yep. that's the cool part about being on a team. Uh, but we're always there to encourage each other and challenge each other. So yeah. you ready to get after a little bit? You ready to do some stuff here? Yep. Let's go. So really we just use this wall for a lot of defensive stuff. This is uh, actually a, a velo ball. My buddy uh, Matt Vassal are both in training. They actually sell this and made it, but uh, we use it a lot in our defensive drills, so our teams or our kids. And it's just throwing against the wall, working our feet, getting to it, right? Any way we can do it. So there's nothing special about it. Sometimes we'll do, like you throw it, and then he'll come behind you and catch it. He'll throw it, he'll come behind you and catch it, and just see how many times you can do that in a row. So you wanna use it with that ball? You can do it with tennis balls too, but. So y'all get in a line, dribble throw it, and then you'll catch it, and you just go in a line, see how many times you can do it in a row without dropping it. There we go. Oh, they're pretty good. What, oh, drip? Oh, Tough one. Oh, he got it. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> Took too slow. <laughs> Come on, Thomas, you're selling. That's basically it. Get that. There you go. Subscribe to catch next week's episode where the boys try out the battle round system and hilarity ensues. Oh! 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 my God! Oh man! Oh! That is not a walk off. Bro, they're looking good, man.